Hi, I'm Maha Salah from Middle East Monitor, and today I'll be showing you how to make a light bandura bil lahme. In my opinion, there are two types of people in the world those who prefer tomato based stews and sauces, and those who prefer cream or yogurt based ones. There's no wrong or right group, but I myself usually prefer white sauces to red ones, as I somehow feel they're more comforting. With that being said, this tomato stew, known as alayt bandora, is one of my favorite ways to use up any super ripe tomatoes I have in the house. While I sometimes find tomato stews too harsh, this one is actually more mellow, packing just the right amount of acidity and spice. Many may know alayt bandora, which translates to tomatoes fried in a pan as just being tomatoes, onions and garlic, sautéed in oil. The meat version is also called alayt bandora, with some adding billahme, meaning with meat, to make the distinction. This dish is popular across the Middle East and especially the Levant, where it's said to have originated. The meatless version is usually made outdoors on an open fire on camping trips, as the ingredients are easy to carry and can all be made in one pan. When making this dish, it's best to use the freshest ingredients possible to ensure the best result. Cutting the meat up into small pieces, known in the Middle East as ras asfur or bird's head, in reference to the size of the meat means it'll become soft and tender quicker. You can make this dish without peeling your tomatoes, but I like to do this extra step because you're left with a smoother stew without any rough skins. If you're a fan of spicy food, sprinkling some fresh chilies or chili flakes is highly recommended. The pine nuts give the perfect nuttiness and crunch to this dish, giving another texture. This dish is traditionally served with bread used to scoop up the sauce, but my grandmother used to serve it with vermicelli rice, and I personally prefer it that way. It's also easier for kids to eat it that way. If you have soft tomatoes in your kitchen, give this delicious stew a try and I'm sure it'll be a new favorite to add to your rotation.